Our next guest created the Sheila A. Doyle Foundation in memory of his mother, who was brutally murdered. The foundation provides grief counseling and support to kids who have also lost a parent or sibling to homicide. Please welcome the executive director of the Sheila A. Doyle Foundation, Kevin Doyle. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? Hi, Kevin. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having I, me. I know that you lost your mother 25 years ago. I, I don't want you to have to rehash everything, but can you fill us in on you know, what really inspired you to, how old to do you? this? Yeah, I mean, I was 17, actually, when my mom was murdered. Um, she was a nurse at Little Company Mary Hospital in Evergreen Park. And uh, she was, you know, normal 3 to 11 shift. She checked out. Uh, she got into her car. Uh, she started driving home down 95th Street. And she had no idea that there were three guys that were following her because they wanted to steal the hood of her car. Um, they had shot a hole through the hood of one of their mother's hoods. And my mom happened to drive the exact same car they needed to, to, to replace. So they followed her home uh, for 30 minutes. Uh, two guys got out of the car. They ran up the driveway. Um, they told her to get out of the car. So she did. And they took her to the back of the car and told her to get into the trunk. So she refused. And so they forced her in, shot her in the back of the head, and, and left her there to die. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, incredibly tragic. And there's no words to you know, console that. You were only mm -hmm. 17 at the time. How long did it take before you said, you know, I want to do something in her memory and help others? That's a good question. You know, I, when I went to college, um, I always had a thought that I wanted to do something to give back to kids who had experienced the death, you know, of a parent. Mm -hmm. And so um, in 2009, I had a conversation with a business mentor of mine who really inspired me to, to do something that I thought about. Mm -hmm. Like, I just remember having a conversation with him and he sat there and stared at me for a while and I told him the story and I mm -hmm. said, you know, I always want to do this. And, and he said, man, you got to go do this. Yeah. And so I just remember that night um, I went home, I spoke to my wife, I talked to my family, and literally overnight, the Sheila Doyle Foundation was born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you come up with that, this idea, too, because you went through grief counseling and it helped you, or you feel like maybe you didn't get enough grief counseling and you want to make sure that others do? Yeah, so my mom actually was going back to school to help my sisters and I through college. Mm -hmm. And so she never had the opportunity to get to do that. Mm -hmm. So um, we basically uh, wanted to, I wanted to start a college scholarship fund to give back to kids. And then our board was like, well, you know, how do you choose a kid, right? I mean, yeah. to win the scholarship. So we wanted to do something that could help more kids, and that's why we started the Camp Sheila. Right, and what happens at this camp, and how many kids have you helped? Uh, we've helped over 200 families, actually, since we've, uh, in, over the last 10 years. Um, we've raised over a million dollars for the organization. I just looked at that this morning, um, which, is, which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, just the, the, the community support is really what's helped to drive this thing. Right, and what happens for the kids at the camp? It's a weekend long event, right? It is, it is. So the kids come in Friday, um, they, they get matched with a one-on-one -on -one with a buddy, um, with an adult volunteer that they don't know, uh -huh. who's re really spending an entire weekend to be there for a kid. Mm -hmm. um, we go through uh, some high energy activities, we do challenge course activities, and then they also get a chance to get into a small group four times throughout the weekend to really express the way they feel and to talk about their story in a safe place with other kids that have gone through the same thing. Right, I know like first responders too help you kind of match with some of these families and some of these kids. Uh, you have a big event coming up Saturday? Yeah, so um, the event is, uh, it's called Cheers for Change. My, my wife actually came up with the name, so it's kind of stuck, but um, it's, you know, we cheers in response to, to helping kids and, and um, it's amazing. Every, every year we've done this, we've had over 400 people attend the event and I think that's just a response to, you know, the violence that happens in, here in our city. Um, so yeah, the, the events this weekend uh, on Saturday at the Odyssey Country Club in Tinley Park. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. What do you think helps kids heal the most? Um, I think just having the ability, you know, I, I remember when I was in high school and, you know, when I walked through the hallways, it was like, hey, there's the kid whose mom was murdered, mm. you know, and I felt really alone and I felt like I was different than everybody else. And so when kids come to camp, that's how they feel. And so what we do by is, is tell them that, you know, ch you know, their story no longer is going to define their going forward path. And so, you know, what, what, what we do is by them telling their story, sometimes for the very first time, um, I think it's empowering for a child to um, see the reaction of other people in the room and to know that one, they're not alone. And, and two is that they have had such an enormous impact on other people by sharing. Yeah, how do you think your mom would feel knowing all of the great work you've done? It's interesting you asked that question. Uh, recently, I, I just read a letter um, that um, was actually written on my mother-in-law's birthday. <laughs> and it was a letter that she wrote, it was the last letter that she wrote um, 
this was probably about 15 days before she died. Mm. And um, there were things in that letter I thought that were just unbelievable. You know, I mean, it, 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 it makes me feel good to know that, like she was helping a friend um, that had cancer, mm. you know, before she passed. And this is the kind of work that my mom would be doing. Yeah. So I really feel like, you know, that was a, a sign almost that like, hey, you're, you guys are doing the right thing, it's good validation. job. Yeah, it's just, you know, so it, and those are things that, those are things that have happened throughout 10, you know, that the, the 10 years we've been doing this, it really make me feel like, you know, um, this is what we were supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. You know? She's definitely living through you. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's kind of neat. All thank right, you, Kevin, Kevin, thank you so much for coming on and yeah. talking to us a little bit more about the camp. And for more information about Cheers for Change or the Sheila Doyle Foundation, go to sadfund.org.